Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I'm using some of the brand new Christmas goodies that are in store this month and um, I was really excited to get my box. So I have a few things here, I have some titles, some stars, some little hats, some reindeer, headbands, little candies and um, that's the picture I'm going to use. This paper is from an from last year's Hip Kit Club Christmas kit so um, it's an exclusive. So I just want to, my idea here is to make a Christmas tree on my layout and you're going to see how I'm going to achieve that as we go along. So first of all I'm scoring down my paper because I want to concertina it and I'm scoring down here every second line if that makes sense and then I'm going to flip the page and go in between so that I have quite a tight concertina. And then I'm just cutting two inch strips from my piece of paper. I thought I'd better measure it properly. <laughs> and I'm going to use these. So I'm going to concertina each one up. And those folds obviously help me to do that. Without that, it would be impossible to get it neat. So I'm just going to do that. This makes your fingers ache, I have to say. I don't know if you've ever done little concertinas like this. It does make your fingers ache. Or maybe that's just because I'm getting old. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, either way, it aches. So I'm going to skip through that in a second. But what you can see is I just do all of them with this small concertina. It's, it's very small. I didn't want it to stick off the page too much. Although my final page is, in fact, very, very bulky. But um, and you'll see that at the end when it's all close-ups. Right, so I've, I've done all of those. Now this is a bit of trial and error and had I um, had a go first I probably would have done it slightly differently but um, but I like how it turns out so you'll see what I'm going to do. Now I had to get out my hot glue gun for this because um, there's no way those were sticking down with wet glue. I didn't have time to hold on to them for 10 minutes while they dried. So I'm going to put some hot glue gun on and then stick my concertina and what I forgot to do here, you see, is I I sort of squidged it up so that it would be a concertina, but I forgot that I want the edges to be to splay outwards. And that actually became quite difficult for me to do in retrospect on the bottom one. So you can see I'm trying to do it there and it's not working very well. But that's okay, it's just the bottom one. So I'll try to rectify that as I go up. And as I go up, I've learned a much better way to do it. And um, yeah, I should have started doing it that way in the first place. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm going to stick down the two ends of that one first. And then that sort of automatically makes the upper part go together a bit more. So it worked much better to do it that way. Stick it down in the middle there. And then the next one is going to sort of bow even further just because I want each end to stick out so you've got the layers of the tree. Now this is the complicated part because I also wanted to go in as it goes up so it's um it wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done but I'm really happy with how it turns out. I'm just showing you this whole process just because um so that you can see exactly how I handled it each time. So as I get up here I decide to cut a few of few of the concertina ends off because the, the piece would start to be too long otherwise. Here we go. And they're starting to just sort of fold in towards the centre themselves because they're bowing. So um, yeah, as I said, it works better going further up, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. A bit more cut off this one. I sort of start to realise here that I'm going to run out of um, of some of this this stuff, so I'm I'm going to have to I have to cut them up a little bit in a minute. That one goes on there, and then this isn't long enough. I don't have enough to go here, so now I'm sort of starting to panic. So I decide that I'm going to have to cut a little bit off of this one. And so this one is a little bit tight, I have to be honest with you, but um, I make it work. 
So I stick those two pieces together and then I've got a longer piece to put here and that works better. It's not precise, it's not really fully even, but that's okay. I, I, um, I like it just the same. <laughs> so here's my final piece up here. I actually put my glue on this piece too high because um, I forget I want to put my star on there. Um, so I put it too high. So I'm waiting for that to dry off a bit. And I put on this one and I'm going to peel that other one off in a minute. And actually, because of course this hot glue gun didn't peel off very well and it made a bit of a mess, my star covers it up. But, <laughs> you know, I'm telling you all my mistakes so that you don't make them. You understand. <laughs> I really should have tried this out before I started sticking things with a hot glue gun, but um, but I do think it, it works in the end, so I'm, I am happy with it. There we go, so you can see that's really dimensional, and I like how it went. So, the hot glue gun's just moved out of the way, it's not gone away because I still need it, because things need to be stuck down. Now my tree isn't quite as tight at the top as I would have liked it to be, so I have to use, um, I cover that with the star and the star's very close to the edge of the page, but I think it's okay. The shape of the star means it sort of covers that it's not pointed, kind of. So I'm gonna put some splatters on my tree, um, just sort of almost to look like snow, I guess. So I just watered down some white acrylic paints and I'm going to put lots on there. Now there's white already on that paper so it doesn't show lots and lots but it just adds a little bit of extra interest to it. I do do quite a lot. And then I'm going to put some gold and this is a, um, this is called Grab a Guy Gold and it's from, let me remind myself who it's from, uh, Lindy's. So I just splatter some gold on because why wouldn't you want a Christmas tree, right? And then, um, and I dry that with my heat gun just to speed it up so that I can get on with things. Now I want to use this title that says Ho Ho Ho. The photo is of my dog and I from a Snapchat filter wearing antlers. And um, so I wanted to put the antlers on the picture, which I thought was quite funny. And I also wanted to use one of those Santa hats above the O for Ho Ho Ho, so it looks like it's sitting on the O, and that worked really well. I was really happy with that. These things are so cute, these little hats and reindeer antlers, and oh my gosh, just fantastic. I love Christmas, and I love Christmas scrapping. So uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna stick those down. And I use the hot glue gun just because it's on top of all these concertinas and I know that if I don't, it's not gonna stick down. It's just gonna come back up. So um, I just wanted to, to be on the safe side. So I'm gonna use these little candy pieces and I'm not gonna use them as lollies with the little sticks, the lollipops, because um, I didn't think it really worked on my tree, so I'm just going to stick them down as little um, embellishments on the tree, you know, little decorations on the tree. And I think they look pretty cute. All with hot glue again, just to make sure they'll stay there. More glue. <laughs> I haven't used my hot glue gun much at all, really, in recent years, so I, it's nice to make use of it. Note to self, use it more. I've got about six million glue stick refills, which probably I should use at some point. Before I die. <laughs> That's how long it seems that they'll last. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stick down my photo. I want to put some foam to one side and I double up the foam. Because the tree is so bulky, I know that if I don't double it up, it will be too low and it will stick up one side. So um, these are quite chunky foam dots. There we go. So that works okay. And they, I don't need it on the side of the tree. And in fact, I didn't even put any glue on the side of the tree because I know it won't come up. So I'm just going to use normal wet glue. This is Scotch tacky glue for the antlers for the photo, just because I knew if I put hot glue on there, it was going to go everywhere and ruin the photo and it would be a mess. So I wanted to just use a bit of wet glue. And that sticks them great. And it's a flat surface. So there's no reason why that, that would come up. 
So these embellishments are also from the Christmas kit from Hip Kit from last year. Um, they're exclusives, so they're not by a specific um, manufacturer, they're by Hip Kit. Um, and there's just some little puffy uh, baubles for a tree, and I want to use those on there just to add an extra bit of interest on the tree. And then I want to add some gifts in over on the left, on the right, sorry, of the photo, just to put something there at the edge. I don't add a lot of embellishments to this layout because that tree is so busy and so colourful, it doesn't, it doesn't need a lot. So there we go, that's it, final layout. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it gives you some inspiration for your Christmas perspectives. I've really enjoyed using them, that's for sure. Um, there are some close-ups coming up for you to have a look at so you can see the dimension. And I would love to know what you think. And if you have any questions, please do let me know and I'll help you out. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. Bye-bye.